Hey, this is Eric with Snow Family Racing. This is the next installment of This Old Motorhome. Today, we're working on furnace issues. Stay tuned and follow along with see what we do. All right, so like I said in the intro, we are working on the furnace of the 2004 Alpha Sia, the tow rig. I uh, had some difficulties with the furnace last year, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be circuit board just like it was with the water heater. It's got a whole host of problems, but we'll get to that in a minute. First off, i got to do a plug. I've got a local business that uh, makes soap called Sweet Bath and Body. This happens to be one of the scrubby bars that's got pumice in it, and the stuff just works unbelievably well. This is what I've been using for uh, all my... You know, clean up after greasy work, you know, kind of keep your marriage happy by keeping the black greasy fingerprints off of everything. So I'll put a link in the in the comments below. But this is Sweet Bath and Body. They've got all sorts of artisan soaps that uh, are just unbelievable products. Go check them out. Get yourself a scrubby bar. These things flat out work. Now, down to business. The furnace on this, which is down here behind this panel. Uh, is a Atwood Hydroflame, and I'm going to be using a dinosaur board to replace the aged Atwood board. This happens to be the Fan 50 Plus, which from everything I can tell is the right board to replace this just straight across like I did with the other uh, Atwood for the water heater. Now, I'll turn the camera around, show you what comes in the box, and this is, you know, the same kind of uh, good production values that uh, Dinosaur is known for and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this in there and hopefully having the furnace work in the motorhome again. I've been living off of a little heater buddy and you know making that work with a vent cracked but the uh, kids still get cold that way and it's kind of important to keep the kids warm on uh, some of these uh, colder races. So let me turn the camera around we'll show you what we got. So pardon the awkward shadows but uh, I'm working next to a chain link fence on a camp chair because it works out nice. Uh, the box, the Fan 50 Plus fan controller, or that one, the Fan 50 Plus pins, there we go. In the box you get the circuit board, you get a couple of jumper wires which are required if you're converting an older furnace. You come with the instructions which are nice. And with this one, we're doing the OEM uh, fan board and it lists out everything that goes on there. There's a couple of jumpers that can be used on this if you're converting an older one. It also has all the instructions to use, you know, if you're upgrading an older furnace. On the back side, get the paper to sand straight. Very slight breeze outside. It's got, uh, you know, some of the how it works. The ignition portion of the board is a standard three try with local flame sense with a 20 second delay and a five second ignition three times in a row. Goes over that. Uh, it tells you some more of the specifics, and uh, you've got if for some reason the motor comes on and the green LED on the Fan 50 Plus pin does not come on, there's a problem in the circuitry of the sail switch, and it gives you some other troubleshooting things. Uh, Dinosaur has been really good for all the times I've used it. This is the second one of these I used. I used one in a previous camp trailer, but uh, no, this works out really nice. Uh, somewhere on the board, I'm looking for it. There's an LED that gives you the, uh, the the troubleshooting codes. It just kind of flashes red, green, and various patterns. So it's on. Oh, there it is. Duh, right there, next to the uh, next to the plug-in. It was white, and I couldn't see it in the sun. So we're gonna get to work on getting this panel off. Got a little bit of fiberglass work. To, got some road rash. Got to take care of. But we'll work on that later. So we're gonna get that panel off. And the circuit board is, follow the shadow, basically on this half of the uh, panel. But we're going to take the panel off. Just four Phillips head screws. I got my cordless drill with Phillips head on it because twisting a screwdriver just makes my carpal tunnel hurt. So I'll show you what it looks like once you get the panel off. All right, so here's what it looks like. Over here on this side, that's where all the burner magic happens. You got the main motor that uh, pushes air, uh, air across the heat exchanger going in, into the vents, and through the rest of the motorhome. Uh, the circuit board that we're going to be replacing is over here. This one has a single, if I can get the lighting to work right, a single wing nut 
and a plastic piece that the board slides, slides out on. I'll get that out and show you what we're looking at then. Okay, here's what that plastic panel looks like with the circuit board attached. It's just got a couple of uh, uh, sheet metal screws in the corners that hold it in place. Now this is what we're uh, taking out. This is what's going into place. Put them side by side, they're very similar. Uh, the biggest difference comes in the blower power, which is on this side here, is actually on the bottom down here by my thumb. Not a big deal, but I did uh, take a minute looking for it. Just, you know, put the pieces side by side, verify what we're looking for. So this has the edge circuitry, just like that one, as well as some of them have a pin style arrangement. Dinosaur is great at this for giving you both and making one board that does both uh, things without having to have two different part numbers to do it. It's got the nice piezoelectric starter, which yeah, comes all the way over here. You got the gas to shut off in various other places. Uh, I'm really hoping this works like I think it's going to. It also uses a nice normal blade type fuse in the event you ever have trouble. I know on some of these machines like this, you know, you got blade type fuses everywhere anyways, and it just makes sense. So I'm going to take the two sheet metal screws off, transfer the wiring over to this guy with the blower motor power and ground on this side. I'll show you what it looks like after I get that couple of steps done. Okay, I've got everything swapped over and the wiring and all that stuff. Two items of note. You'll notice that's not the screw that came out. That's now a Phillips head. What came out was a sheet metal screw uh, with a hex head. That's because this guy has little feet that stand off. I needed a couple of larger screws. Not a big deal. Just go raid the hardware drawer. The other thing is the location of the blower motor wiring down here uh, is different than where it was on the old board. That makes things a little bit more snug as far as getting everything out. I mean, as you can see, this is really as far out as I can go with the blower wiring hooked together. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, if you were to redo that wire, it's not a big deal. It's pretty close. It just kind of loops around back there behind the switch. You can sort of see it in this uh, wintry afternoon sun. So I'm going to uh, slide this back in, put the wing nut back on the corner, go turn the power on to everything and give it a test and see if we fire up. All right, you can hear it happily humming away. Moving my hand near the exhaust port says we've definitely got to heat. Uh, item of note, just like the uh, uh, water heater board, the red light comes on and everything's happy. The green light came on first, which is a sail switch. Um, as soon as the furnace caught, which took like its third ignition cycle, but that's okay. I'm a long way from the, you know, the propane source at this point. The red LED took over and it just turned red and everything looks to be happy. As dumb as it sounds, I actually got to scoot back a little bit. My knee's here near the heat and it's getting a little warm. So here's to another successful dinosaur board fix. Uh, the furnace looks like it's working like it's supposed to. I may have another gremlin in that when I put the power to everything, and even it was this way before, so it's no fault of the dinosaur board not the dinosaur board's fault. I'm noticing the blower motor is commanded on inside um, pretty much all the time. I applied power and the blower motor wanted to turn on and just sit there and hum. I think that uh, has to do with the uh, um, thermostat inside. That one will have to do a little bit more research on but I can work around that in the short term. Right now, I got heat. I can keep my family warm on those cold events. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna take the panel over here, make sure I orient it correctly. I'm gonna just shut down the system, put the panel back on, and uh, move on with life. So that was a successful Another successful repair for the dinosaur board. Remember, go check out Sweet Bath and Body. My hands are a little dingy from all the dusty crap. I'm probably going to go use my existing scrubby bar. This is the uh, uh, the pumice infused super scrubby bar on the website. 
Love this thing. They come in three different uh, scents at the moment. You got a citrus, a uh, apple, and a berry. This is the berry. The apple is my current favorite, but I got them all to try them all. So. I'll drop a link in the comments to Sweet Bath and Body. Go take a look. Go get yourself a scrubby bar. These things flat out work. Thanks for watching. One last update. Yeah, I said thanks for watching, but wait, there's more. Guarantee more good quality content here. Went inside, turned the thermostat from gas heat just to off because I don't need anything going while it's sitting here on the side of my house in storage. Blower motor turned off. I may not have a problem anyway. It may have been just kind of a power up purge cycle. I'm not entirely sure. It's never done that before to me, but uh, it was doing it earlier. So power off the system, blower motor turns off. I'm in good shape. I'm very pleased. Check out dinosaur boards if you ever need to, to replace the existing circuit boards on any of your Atwood or, or uh, uh, Suburban is the other one. That uh, Atwood and Suburban are the boards that they replace pretty common. You need this stuff? check out dinosaur they make the best stuff that i can find thanks for watching i'll let you go this time